Hello, my name is Mike Driscoll, and today I want to give you an introduction to the Diffleb module. So Diffleb is a cool little module that comes with Python, and it lets you check out um, differences about different things in text. So let's, let's see what the official documentation calls it. This module provides classes and functions for computing sequence, comparing sequences. It can be used, for example, to compare files and produce information about file differences in various formats including HTML and context and unified diffs. For comparing directories and files, you might want to try the file compare module instead. Okay. With all that said, it's always helpful to look at some examples. So let's talk about what we're going to check out today. I'm not going to cover the entire diff lab. I'm just going to cover I would like four pieces of it. So we're going to look at getting close matches, which I think is one of the most useful things that it does. We're going to look at the differ class. Uh, we're going to look at getting a unified diff and an HTML diff. Um, the, different, the, the diffs are kind of helpful in if you've ever done um, like a diff in Git or another uh, code comparison tool or code resource. So if you, you, know, if you use Git or, or Perforce, you're always checking to see what differences did I add to the code. And you can kind of do that with Python. Anyway, let's take a look at how this works. Getting close matches. So you import diffLib. You give it a set of words. So we could give it a, a, a file to read in the words from if you wanted to. But to keep it simple, I just created a list of words. And then we're going to try to get close matches. So I misspelled apple here on purpose. And I want to see if I can get something close to it. So diffLib checks my list and sees that appeal, apple, and ape are all very similar to my silly word here, appell, or however you want to pronounce that. Um, let's try it with a different set of characters. In this case, I'm trying to match pa. We can try to guess what this is going to give us. It'll probably give us par. Maybe it'll give us parade. Let's check it out. It gives us par. So let's go ahead and add an R to that and rerun it. And now we get par and parade. So, you know, you can kind of experiment with that to kind of dial in its accuracy, so to speak, and get better matches. I think this is kind of a cool way to do this. Um, I could see this being used as a really simple spell check tool. Um, so, you know, it gives you some options in your code. Let's try using the, the differ class. This is a class for comparing sequences of lines of text and producing human readable differences, or deltas. So in this case, we're going to import um, differ, and we're going to use it to compare these two strings. And these are two multi-line strings. We'll see. You can study the strings yourself before writing this code and see if you can spot the differences, and then compare it to what the differ class gives you as output. I'll just give you a minute to check it out. All right, not really a full minute, but you get the idea. Let's try running this code and see what kind of output we get. All right, so notice that there's a period at the end of the second string, or the first line in the second string. So it marks that with a plus. And then in the second string, it notices that we have the word programming, and there's also a space at the end. There's no space after Python up here in the first string. So it marks all of that with a bunch of plus symbols too. So all of these are different. Nice way to tell the difference between you know, a couple of different pieces of text. Let's try unified diff. A unified diff is probably something you'd be more familiar with if you've used um, like CVS or SVN, and Git does a unified diff of sorts as well. It's kind of hard to explain if you haven't seen it before. So if we run the code, you can kind of see um, that it's trying to do a, a unified diff, and it's kind of hard to read a little bit. Because it is telling you that there's a difference, but it's hard to tell what exactly the difference is because it's not marking them um, right underneath the differences. So you can see it's marking these as pluses and these as minuses because it's just basically replacing them with each other. I don't think this is as useful to me as, the, as using the different class directly. But some people are really used to seeing this kind of output, and they'll be able to read it a lot better than, than I, I typically am. Okay, let's check out the HTML diff. So the HTML diff 
will basically create a table that visually shows you the differences between the two lines of text. And it does it on a line by line basis. So for this one, because I'm using a Jupyter Notebook, I import IPython uh, from IPython, uh, the HTML class, and it's going to turn the HTML that is returned from HTML diff into a table that we can actually use in Jupyter Notebook. So when we run this, you can see that it's just kind of comparing the two. And it may be obvious to you, if you've done a lot of comparison in, with your own eyes with you know code, what the differences are. But you know, if, to me, I immediately see that programming, you know, this line is longer, and I'm still spotting the period, probably because I've seen, I've done this example several times. But just kind of a fun way to, to show the differences and see what you can do with Jupyter Notebook at the same time. All right, so let's wrap up. In this uh, tutorial, I taught you a little bit about the DiffLib module. It's definitely worth checking out. You can use it to get close matches, kind of as a spell check. You can use Differ to find differences between um, uh, uh, files or strings. And then, of course, you have different, different kinds of outputs, unified diff, HTML diff, and those other diffs that are included in the DiffLib if you go look at the DiffLib module, like context diff, which I didn't cover here, for example. So definitely check it out. It's a really neat module, and I hope you'll enjoy it. Also, I want to thank you for watching, and I hope you'll tune in next time.